In the inventory tab in the stock section, you can make an inventory once in a while to check the stock. Using the inventory, you can override the status of the stock cards to the value you entered. In this tab, you will find the option to select a specific stock in which you want to make the inventory. Also, a list of all inventories you already made. You can sort or filter the inventories by specific criteria. You can export a list of all inventories to a CSV file. The price in the list indicates the total difference between the actual and stored quantity of stock cards. By clicking on detail, you will find a list of all inventory items. Each inventory can be changed in the first 45 days. You can enter a new inventory using the new inventory button. To do that, select the stock in which you want to make the inventory. The inventory can be printed by clicking on the print inventory button and your employees can easily fill in the stock status in the printed table. It is possible to choose whether the list of stock cards will be displayed in one or two columns. In this tab, you will see the option to enter the inventory now or in the past. You can explain in the note why you're taking the inventory. In the tab, you will find a list of all your stock cards. By clicking the Show All Categories button, you will see all your stock cards at once. Then you write the real status of the stock cards in the list. If you do not fill in the quantity for one of the items, the item will not appear in the inventory detail. Click on the Save button to save the inventory.